So poor Mike Lindell has, um, he's been on a crusade for the last however many years, basically fighting for Donald Trump. And then it became, you know, I'm going to stop the rigged election. And he, he put on all these events that were like, I will prove that the election was stolen. And of course, nothing ever proved it. And he's embarrassed himself repeatedly. And remember, this guy was a former crack addict who got clean, much credit to him. But now he sort of traded his addiction for a new addiction of being way too political, way too online, and like totally QAnon-brained, Pizzagate-brained, etc. Well, now it looks like he got out a little too far over his skis. So this is in Raw Story. They say, I need help. My Pillow CEO offers stock to recover over 40 million he lost trying to overturn the election. Wow. Now, just so you know, I believe it. I believed he's, I believe he spent $40 million trying to do this. I think that's probably accurate. They say, my pillow chief executive officer and election denier, Mike Lindell is asking the public to buy stock in his business, Lindell TV, to gain back the millions he spent in an effort to overturn the 2020 election. Former GOP prosecutor Roe Filipkowski shared a clip of Lindell's recent Right Side Broadcasting Network interview via Twitter, writing, Mike Lindell announces that he has spent over $40 million trying to overturn the election, and he needs help. So he says he's going to allow people to buy stock in Lindell TV. Quote, I want every person out there to have a little piece of the pie, Lindell said. For the next couple of weeks, could be for two to four weeks, we're offering stock to the public. This is going to be amazing. So here's the video that uh, he was referencing. Let's watch. What we're doing with praying speech within the next couple of weeks, uh, could be for two to four weeks, we're offering a stock to the public. This is going to be amazing. We're offering stock to the public. I want every person out there to have a little piece of the pie for our voice for this country. I went with the money that I use to save this country that I've been out spending. I've spent over $40 million. Unbelievable. Hang on a second. He's spent over $40 million. $40 million I've spent in a, uh, and, uh, by the way, you spent $40 million and you have Dickie McGee's axe to show for it. Absolutely nothing. Now, what percentage of that money actually went towards the cause he says it went towards, stop the steal, the election's rigged, I'm going to overturn, I'm going to prove it, whatever. I don't know, but I actually think he's, I believe him. I think he's crazy enough to actually mean what he says and try to do the stuff and file all the lawsuits, etc. And so I wouldn't be surprised if over 50% of that money actually went to that. Maybe even over 80% of the money, I don't know. But he's kind of claiming it's like all of it, right? And imagine, imagine being worth that much money and then blowing in on this. And he goes on to say, here, I'll play it for you. But he goes on to say, like, I, I need help. In other words, a dog, I'm broke because of what I've been doing. Dollars I've spent in a, uh, and uh, I need help. You know, we need help, but we need help making a voice bigger. And we need help. Uh, the money that we and you'll see this when this happens. I can't tell the details. The lawyer said, I will only let you S tell this much. You know? The SAC. OK, look, guys, here's my question for you guys. Does it do, is he a true believer who is so far gone he actually blew all of his money chasing this fairy tale of like overturning the election even though it's already had over 60 legal challenges they all got thrown out and anytime they try to produce evidence it comes up disastrously wrong and bad they have cranks like Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani who are on their side like does he actually believe it and he's actually wasted all of his money doing this and he's sincere or is it Steve Bannon style and what I mean by that is he's, he's just a con artist and a fraudster. I got to be honest, I tend to lean more towards he's sincere for the simple reason that the dude has always seemed kind of un unhinged. He used to be a crack addict. Now I think he's sort of addicted to this Trump world adjacent stuff, right? Um, but it could very well be the Steve Bannon style stuff too. Because Steve Bannon, remember the him and a, a number of other MAGA superstars got together and did the crowdfund a private border wall for the southern border and they raised millions and millions of dollars to do a to build a border wall at the southern border through private donations and then of course they immediately ran into 17,000 legal issues and basically the courts were like you can't just privately fund a border wall on public land this isn't your land you can't just build some shit on by the way even if it was your land you'd still need like permits to do certain things if you try to build some new structure attached to your house you need permits in order to do it you can't just do it right and so of course that wasn't gonna work i was so 
I was actually kind of saddened by all the people who were duped, who really thought like, yeah, this money's going to go towards building the border wall. It never was. He was basically, him and his buddies were basically found guilty of fraud and then Trump pardoned him. And so he knew he was full of it when he did it. Steve Bannon did. I have no doubt about that. Mike Lindell, I don't know, kind of an open question, which is why we're talking about this and why I'm presenting it to you. Basically, uh, the Cliff Notes version of this is Mike Lindell is broke because he spent all of his money, $40 million, trying to overturn the election. Um, that's the Cliff Notes version of it. But the other interpretation is he's begging for money because he's going to continue to scam people. And he, maybe he's been scamming people all along. Maybe he's in on, maybe knew he wasn't going to overturn the election, but he kept fundraising off the idea. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys know uh, what my bias is, but you also know I tend to have this problem uh, in most instances. I usually take people at face value when they say they believe X, and honestly, I should be a lot more skeptical and maybe even a lot more cynical, perhaps, because oftentimes I'm too kind in my reading of others and my interpretation of others where I should, uh, you know, assume nefarious motives and intent, but it's just not my go-to. And with Mike Lindell, I don't know why, but I kind of believe him because he strikes me as genuinely unhinged and off, but I'll leave it up to you. Post it in the comment section below. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.